Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda or Aja O here, bringing you guys another Black Ops 4 video. Today, we will be conquering the special weapons in IX Zombies in Voyage of Despair. Most likely, these will also be the special weapons that follow the Chaos crew throughout Black Ops 4. Each of these four special weapons have three stages. You level up through the different stages simply by using the special weapon. I'll say it takes between two and four activations to level it up each time. Number one, guys, we have the Shock Rams of Vengeance. A pair of Shock Rams, one for throwing and the other for melee. It's a one-shot kill as far as I've played into the game. I've played into like the mid-30s, right below 40, I believe. Um, one-shot kill that high up into the round, so very powerful. The throwing one acts kind of like a boomerang, but it will actively seek out targets. So if you throw it in a direction and there's no more zombies, it will zip around to find more targets. Once you level up the shock rams to level 2, you will gain a movement speed boost while using your shock ram, so you'll simply move faster. Now number 3, the third stage, is the lacerating whirlwind. This allows you, if you use both of your triggers at the same time, you will activate a deadly shock ram whirlwind around you. You'll kind of see 3 or 4 shock rams spinning around. I would say probably the second easiest of all the special weapons to use. On to the Hammer of Valhalla, the hammer for wading directly into battle. This one allows you to be the most aggressive and just get in the thick of it and start swinging away. You regain armor with each foe kill. This is really important. This gives you armor, which will give you extra protection. Now, the second stage of the hammer is called the Storm Barrier. Now, this ability allows you to place an electric storm that stuns enemies in the area. Now, I have to warn you guys, be careful when using this ability. There is a bit of an animation before the ability goes out. It kind of reminds me of Reinhardt, if you guys have ever played Overwatch, where he goes hammer down and he slams the hammer against the ground. Same thing here, you'll slam the hammer against the ground, but that animation does take a few seconds. It's also remember, this stuns them and doesn't kill them unless you're in the lower rounds. Stage three gives you the lightning bolt attack, which shoots out a wide bolt of lightning killing enemies it looks really amazing and it's honestly really really powerful maybe one of my favorite abilities out of all the special weapons next up we have the scepter of Ra. this one is probably the most unique out of all of the special weapons the scepter allows you to shoot a focused beam of energy that slows and burns foes and heals allies it can even revive players who are down Stage 2, you gain resistance to catalyst damage and status effects when Scepter is active. Catalyst zombies are the special zombies. That's the water, the fire, and the electricity. Stage 3 for the Scepter of Ra is called the Shining Beacon. This allows you to place down the Scepter to create a protective bubble. Enemies inside will slow down and be damaged. Players inside will be revived, most importantly, with their perks restored super useful we'll have to say is that this is not the best one for defending yourself the scepter really opens up this healer support type play style where if you're playing with someone maybe who is new to zombies or you gotta play with your little brother or your cousins that are gonna be coming over for the holidays i would definitely suggest running the scepter because it'll allow you to play as a support on to the fourth and final special weapon in IX and Voyage of Despair, we have the Viper and Dragon, which is a paired whip sword and a hand cannon for mid-range flexibility. The Viper is an extendable sword that acts as a bladed whip, and the Dragon shoots a fiery mid-range blast in Stage 1. Once you level up the Viper and Dragon to Stage 2, the Viper swings twice in a row, and the Dragon now shoots explosive rounds. For Stage 3, the bladed segments of the Viper will be launched at and surround an enemy, and it will attract and shred other enemies, kind of like a very mini monkey bomb or a mini homunculus, which is the new monkey bombs in Black Ops 4. For most of these, except for the shock rams, Stage 1 ability will be bind it to your right trigger, your Stage 2 ability will be bind it to your left trigger, and then to use the Stage 3, you'll use both the left and right triggers at the same time. And on that note, guys, I'm out of here. I'm sending you good vibes. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Panda.